Hey, what's up, guys? FSX Rookie, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get connected to Vetsin and uh, change frequencies and stuff like that. So, it's going to be a very nice, easy, and simple video. So, you'll only be uh, needing to do just two things, two requirements in this video if you want to get connected to Vetsin. Uh, I suggest you go on the Vetsin page uh, to uh, get some more knowledge, and uh, you got to be 13 and older to fly on Vetsin. So, yeah. Uh, but I'll leave all the links and stuff in the description so if you guys want to check it out to get connected to Vatsim. You just got to be 13 and older. So, yeah, so the first thing you want to do is just go to Vatsim.net. Uh, just click join here. It works with any FSX, uh, Steam Edition, Acceleration, whatever you have. So, yeah, so you just want to go uh, to Vatsim.net and sign up for an account, stuff like that. Uh, you, will, you will need an, a Vatsim password and ID and stuff like that. So, yeah, but... Uh, just read the the help page and stuff like that to get you started and all that stuff is very nice and simple so just read everything uh, I'm not gonna download it because I already have it but uh, the download should be somewhere around here um, actually never mind you don't need to download that thing. you just need to create an account and that's it so uh, you don't need to download that and the next thing you want to do is go to uh, V pilot so we're gonna go to V pilot right here I actually have it up top so this is vpilot this is what it looks like this is what you'll be needing to contact uh, the tower and stuff like that so uh... this is this is one of the more important tools that you'll need uh... for vpilot so uh... you just want to go to download right here when you download you just choose a uh, server any server works fine uh... just primary whatever so click on the primary server whatever save file run it execute it and all that stuff so yeah that's all you need to do so just download vpilot and once you've done uh... download vpilot uh... we could just close this out right now so let's close this out alright so we don't need any more so once you got everything downloaded uh... uh... vpilot is right here as you can see there's vpilot uh... so now you just want to open vpilot up you just double click it and it'll look something like this uh... yeah so don't worry if you see a lot of red uh... or green whatever stuff uh, it's just trying to connect to the simulator, but uh, this is all fine. Just leave it as it is. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings. So when you go to settings, you're going to be in general. So you don't. If I were y'all, just want to mess around with all these stuff. Just leave it as it is. Uh, it's already fine. You need to touch nothing of like this. And here, you'll just need to put your Vatsim ID and the password that they're going to email you. So just sign up for Vatsim. You put your full name right here. Uh, your home airport, the airport closest to you. Just put it right there where you live. Uh, server wherever you are in the world, uh, USA, uh, East, uh, West, Central, I live in the East Coast, I'm going to put USA East, uh, control this, I don't know nothing about this, so just don't mess with this, leave it as it is, uh, uh, this, do not display aircraft beyond, this is if you have a powerful computer or not, if you have a powerful computer, you may uh, put this higher, I believe, but uh, if your computer is not that powerful like a gaming computer, just leave it at 30 or less, uh, Maximum aircraft to display, uh, just, you can just leave it default, and then once you're done, you just click apply. So the next thing you want to do is go to audios. This is going to be your microphone and stuff like that. Um, uh, right here, just choose a wave uh, microphone, Rautic high definition, which is mine. So you just choose wave. Uh, here, you're going to choose direct sound and the headset, whatever that you have. So that's awesome. Uh, this, uh, I'm not sure what to do with this, but just leave it unchecked or enabled. I, I don't think it messes with anything. Um, the volume, this is the volume of the uh, air traffic controllers and the pilots that are contacting the uh, controllers and stuff like that. Uh, I have it at 100 so I can hear everything clearly and nice, but uh, just experiment with this. If they're too low, for example, if, they're, if it's like by default somewhere around here, you may want to put it a little bit higher, but for me it's 100 so I can hear everything perfectly. Uh, next thing you want to do is set a uh, push to talk button. I have a joystick uh, T Flight uh, Hotis X, so the thing you want to do is just set a new push to talk key. I recommend you put it on the joysticks like that. Uh, you don't have to move uh, your fingers a lot on the keyboard or nothing like that. So you could be flying and talking to the controller at the same time. So just put it in your joystick and you'll be fine. And then you just calibrate your microphone. It's, the steps are very easy and simple. I'm not going to do that now because it's going to mess with my microphone. Once you've done that, this is uh, going to be the tricky part. And I still don't know how. Um, this is the model matchmaking. This is going to be so you can see the, the other planes, like their texture, like American Airlines, Delta, whatever it may be, their paint. Uh, back then I heard there was something called IVAL that it was like in a score or something like this and you just checked it and then run model matching test and you just download it no you just go right here to download but unfortunately uh, they removed it from vpilot so IVAL is not here so 
the only thing you want to do is just check FSX default aircraft download select the rule set and it's gonna be right here that's all you need to do do not do nothing else do not check every single one of these and stuff or else you're gonna get red letters and stuff so uh, now I just want to show you guys the flight plan real quick and we're almost done so just apply and save everything once you're done this is very nice easy and simple so the next thing you want to do is flight plan uh you just right now I have one of my custom flight plans uh Kalax the KSFO one of the routes I like to fly so here uh let's just start out with here right uh real quick this is uh I guess it's supposed to be remarks it's like just to talk to say what do you have or not but here I just said I don't have an FNC I use the default GPS system I am also new to bad sim so this is what uh so they can understand like the level they're gonna talk to me if I'm a professional or not so just put something like uh, you're new to Vesim or something like that if you are uh, but yeah the route this is gonna be the route I suggest uh, you search on Google the route but it's very simple easy I shouldn't be going over on that but yeah you just type uh, copy and paste the route there or type it um, here uh, IFR uh, whatever you wanna fly the the rule set so it's gonna be IFR VFR DVFR I don't know what these two mean but IFR means uh you wanna fly with the assistance of controller or help VFR it just means uh, you will still get help from a controller, but they won't mess around with you a lot. So, uh, for me, I just find IFR easier than VFR because you have to do more stuff in VFR. So, IFR works well for me. Here, the departure airport, the destination airport. I'll turn to airport. The airport, if you have an emergency, which is unlikely to happen in the air, uh, you just put the closest airport that you think you can land on. Departure time, uh, it has to be in Zulu time, so just put uh, whatever you want to depart in Zulu time. Time and route. This is going to be a uh, how how long you think the flight is going to take. Uh, the fuel you're going to have available. It's nice. That's simple. It already says it over here. Cruising speed. Uh, this is going to be the the high speed you're going to get to in your cruising altitude. So right now I just have it at 320 cruising altitude, 28,000 feet. Uh, here voice. Uh, this is like if you're only going to text, you could text in um in V Pilot. Uh, in Vatim you could text. Uh, controllers allow that, so you could text to them. They could text to you. Uh, and if you want to receive only, uh, I guess that's just like text and receive. Uh, send that means like send and receive. It means like you talk with your mic. So if you have a microphone and you configure it as I showed you guys earlier, this is gonna be it. Uh, so yeah, send and receive, and that's pretty much it. Just save and yeah. So now I want to show you guys uh, some of the footage and how to change frequencies and stuff like that. That's in. So I'll be right back in a couple with you guys. Alright guys, so I'm back. Uh, we are here in Kennedy Airport in a Boeing 767 American Airlines, so I'm not going to do a flight. Like I said, I'm just going to show you guys how to change frequency and contact the tower. Uh, but yeah, we are in an American 767 in Kennedy Airport. I chose this airport because there's a lot of traffic on the tower right now, so uh, this is what you'll be needing. And a 767 is the same as an A320. The radio stack is going to be here on the bottom. Uh, so this is what you'll be needing. This is the frequency right here to change it. So you have uh, the frequency right here and uh, uh yeah so now we're gonna just switch to the tower right now so, but the first thing we gotta do right now is just uh, connect to uh, VATS and so the uh, like I said you're gonna open up uh, V pilot and then right here on the uh, left upper corner it says connect so you just click on connect uh, this is not gonna be for you this is not this is gonna be like the aircraft you use in your pass but for you you just wanna set up the your call sign so if you have an American Airlines or Delta let's just do Delta so you have Delta Airlines gonna be DAL for Delta Delta Airlines and then the number that you want so let's say 595 so Delta 595 right there then right here your air uh, type code of your aircraft uh, 737 so it has a 737 B737 so as it is and your C Cal code I don't know what this means but it means something with doing like crossing the ocean flights and stuff like that but just leave it at AA dash BB as it was so when you do all that stuff you just want to connect but let me just choose my American real quick because that's the one I have so American Airlines 595 point seven six seven so now we're connected to the Batsim network and here on the left corner you see all the frequencies of New York uh, of the airports around us so uh, we're gonna contact tower real quick just uh, so you guys couldn't like here how they listen to when they talk so JFK tower is right here 119.1 so we're gonna open up our radio stack and we're gonna hit shift 2 and now we're gonna switch to 119 point let me check was it 
one one nine point one. Yes, one one nine point one. Uh, press unpause that. So we're going to one one nine point nine. It does take a while. But yeah. So this is very nice, uh, easy, and simple. That's all you need to do. It may sound a little bit complicated, but I suggest you watch other videos too to see how how to do it. If I'm a little bit complicated, but this is just the simple way that I like to do it. So yeah. Tower is one one nine point one. So actually, I'm just gonna pause this real quick because it has taken a while. So I'll be right back uh, once I get the frequency changed. So yeah. All right, so I got the frequency changed now. So let's unpause it and let's switch right now. So all you need to do to activate it is just hit the switch right here. So click on it, and you should hear that sound. So as you can hear, we are connected to the Batsim network right now. So yeah, that's how you connect to the network. So we just disconnected right now. So. That's the end of this video. Uh, I'm sorry it's a little bit longer, but thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. The link will be in the description for everything I showed you guys. So, yeah, peace.